Hello, gamer. Always back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the reworked dark fruit, unlock all its powers, and become pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Blant, the actor, slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, so guys, first off, check this noob out. It has a fin, which means he's lucky enough to have different race. Usually, guys, we get a human race, right? But for this noob, he got a fishman race. What is the advantage of having this game or not? Check this out. I already ate a devil fruit, but the damage of being in the water is decreased. Okay, that's good to know because you will be encountering this races in the second sea. So for our first skill, the dark rocks. This is the dark rocks. There you go. So guys, for the damage, it's really good for me. The range is also good. And the most important thing, it has no knockback. Okay, if you have all those requirements, the best next thing to do is head to the Fountain City. Why game or not, guys? I'm gonna show you the fastest way to grind. So guys, Fountain City, start luring the Gali Pirates. Okay, so my technique here. You're going to start with the Dark Rocks. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And after that, you will keep on left clicking him until your Dark Rock skill is on cooldown. Okay? Don't worry, you won't get attacked by this mob because there is a wall in between you. There you go. And with just one Gallic Pirate, I leveled up 19 times. Guys, imagine if you use times 2 experience, right? For the stats, all of the stats will go in the Blocks Fruit. There is still a faster way, guys, and that is by luring two Gali Pirates. As this is the first time that I tried this and it worked. <laughs> so you're gonna lure two. There you go. And again, do our strategy. Okay? Look for a wall. There you go. And keep on hitting them with your Z skill and your left clicks. There are times that the Gali Pirate can climb over the wall if you lure two. You can go here to make sure that they won't go over the wall, okay? So again, just keep doing your thing until you defeat this two. After that, you will unlock your second skill, the Black Spiral, and I'm gonna try it now. There you go, guys. This is multi-target, but I really don't like this skill. <laughs> I'm gonna show it to you why later. There you go. We're gonna leave this area when we reach level 55. And after that, next island is a pirate village. So at 55, the boss quest or the Bobby quest is already unlocked. Gamer Nom, why is the X skill not good? Guys, check this out. I'm gonna use it on Bobby. And after that, guys, I don't know where he went. Using this is not efficient in grinding because, again, you need to lure your enemy again. So focus on using your Z skill. Z skill dash, wait for it to cool down. But if you really want to use the X skill, use it to last hit your enemy, okay? Okay, I hope that's clear. Level 60, next island is the desert. So don't worry guys about grinding here because elemental or log is in effect. And again, I will repeat, focus on using your Z skill. Using your X skill will only disrupt your grinding. It will make things inefficient. So guys, keep on grinding here until you reach level 75. And after that, next mob is a desert officer. So we're gonna make it faster here. Don't worry, no problem. Again, they don't have Haki. You cannot be damaged by these mobs at level 75. There you go. So guys, next up, level 90. Don't worry, things will be easy. Two more masters to unlock the Z skill. So next island is the Frozen Village. Next up, the Snow Bandits. Guys, log is in effect again. So just keep on defeating them until you unlock again your Z skill. At Master 80, the Black Hole. So here it is. Finally guys, this is a good skill for grinding, not like the X skill. So our combo is Z plus Z skill. Okay? Level 105, you will unlock the boss quest, the Yeti quest. So here guys, this boss is very easy to defeat. <laughs> My bad, I need to redeem myself there. So again, I suggest use your Z and C skill, but guys, be cautious with a C skill because you will let your enemy go near you and he has a skill of his own, okay? So again, Z and C. You can always use your X skill, but expect the unexpected just like that. And by the way, guys, from here on, we will be doing server hop. 
guys, the best and the fastest way to grind in the first season by doing server hop. Make sure to follow starting from here, okay? Again, this is the Yeti boss. So again, we're gonna leave this area until we reach level 130. So again, server hop all the way. Next island is the Marine Fortress and our enemy is the Vice Admiral. Let's check him out. Oh guys, so if someone's already killing it, guys, make sure to just damage it, okay? It doesn't matter if you last hit the boss, as long as you damage it significantly, you will still get the experience. Also, this is a proof that you don't need to fight everyone you see in the public server, right? Okay, there you go. Again, you're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 220, guys. 220, and after that, off to our next island, the prison. So here, our first target is the Warden, and guys, a new friend, it's 14YUIPL, something like that. But bro, I need to apologize to you, <laughs> because when I was luring the Warden, no! No! it changed its target and went towards my friend. So my friend, sorry, okay? My friend, I'm so sorry. And guys, we're gonna do wall strat with this boss. There we go, we will avenge you. Don't worry, my friend. Okay, so as you can see, he cannot hit us here. There you go. Same strategy with the, uh, what do you call this? Chief Warden. There you go. Wall Strat. Very easy. Gamernome, how about the Swan at 240? Yes, strategy is the same. But take note of this, guys. He can damage you, okay? Oh, by the way, we've unlocked the V skill, the Dark Bomb. Here's the Dark Bomb. And again, I will show you. Him damaging us. There you go. Guys, did you see my HP? There you go. So guys, make sure to create distance, longer distance every after you use your skills. Okay? So again, server hop is the key here. So keep defeating the bosses until you reach level 350. Guys, four mobs to go. Yes, I'm sure, guys. Take note, four mobs to go. Next island, Magma Village. The first mob out of the four remaining mobs is the Magma Admiral. So you're gonna start defeating him. This is like Blackbeard versus Akaino. I really hate those characters. <laughs> so again, reminder, we're gonna server hop until 425. Okay. Next up is the Underwater City. And the second mob is the Fishman Lord. Which means last two mobs to go, but let's defeat this first. We're gonna lure him and do the wall strat. Same with the prison. So there you go. Very easy to defeat. Again, server hop is our friend. Until gamer no, until level 500. After that, next stop, Skylands, the upper sky. For the third mob, we are going to defeat the Whisper. But guys, sad to say, there is no stone strat. Remember the strategy wherein you're just gonna stand on the stone and they cannot damage you because of our C, X, and V skill. All of those skills has a knockback or will change the position of the enemy. So I suggest defeat him face to face. And the target level is 637. And for the final mob in the Fountain City, we're gonna defeat the Gali Pirates. Guys, check this out. No worries getting damaged because again, they have no hockey. So elemental is in effect. And for my final tip, use your Z and C skill. And for the final blow, you can choose between X or V skill. Again, use Z and C so that they won't go flying around. And use your X or V skill to defeat them. Okay, so from here, no need to server hop. You're gonna keep on defeating the Gali Pirates until you reach level 700. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I will be posting the Gravity Fruit video, Noob to Pro, tomorrow. So watch out for that. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.